Have you ever seen a hole that is so big it could fit hundreds of skyscrapers inside? That is the Grand Canyon. It is 277 miles long and it is over a mile deep. Yep, you could stack four Empire State Buildings on top of each other and still not reach the top. But how did it get so huge? Let's take a trip back in time and find out. Now, before we dive into how the Grand Canyon was formed, let's take a second to talk about what a canyon is. Well, if you don't know, a canyon is a huge valley with really steep sides. It's like a giant crack in the Earth's surface. But unlike cracks in sidewalks, which are really small, canyons don't pop up overnight. They take millions of years to form. And the thing that makes most canyons so big and deep, it is just one thing, water. Let's rewind over five million years ago. Back then, there wasn't a Grand Canyon. There was just flat land. But then a powerful force arrived, the Colorado River. The river started carving through the land, getting deeper and deeper every single year. So it's kind of like if you drag your finger through wet sand, you leave a little path behind. So now imagine that happening for millions of years with a big river doing the work. But it wasn't just the river that made the Grand Canyon. Rain, wind, and even freezing water helped out too. Now here's how. Rainwater washed away tiny bits of rock. Wind picked up sand and small rocks, scraping away the canyon walls. Freezing water cracked open the rocks. When water gets into tiny cracks and freezes, then it expands, making the cracks even bigger. Now, over time, big chunks of rock broke off and made the canyon wider and deeper. All these forces work together like a dream team of nature, shaping the canyon slowly but surely. And guess what? It's still changing today. The Colorado River is carving away at the canyon just very slowly. Now, have you ever seen a picture of the Grand Canyon? Let's show you. Yeah, it looks like a giant rainbow made of rocks. But why are those rocks so colorful? Well, the answer, layers of rock. Each layer tells a different story. Over millions of years, different rocks formed in layers, and each layer is a different color. Some rocks are red, some are yellow, and some are even purple or pink. These colors come from minerals in the rocks, like iron, which rusts and turns red. So when you look at the Grand Canyon, you're not just seeing rocks, you're seeing a giant, colorful history book made of stone. Okay, so the Grand Canyon is 277 miles long, but how big really is that? Let's break it down. If you tried to walk the entire length of the Grand Canyon, it would take you two full weeks without stopping. It is bigger than the entire state of Rhode Island. If you lined up six million school buses, whoa, they would all fit inside the Grand Canyon. That is huge. Yes, you can. People from all over the world visit the Grand Canyon today. Some hike down into the canyon, which can take hours while others take a helicopter ride to see it from above. But if you do visit, make sure to bring plenty of water and sunscreen because the desert sun can be super hot.
The Grand Canyon is one of the most amazing places on Earth, and it was shaped by water, wind, and time. And guess what? It's still changing bit by bit every single day. So if you ever visit the Grand Canyon yourself, you will see how big and beautiful it is. Just imagine standing on the edge and looking out over this huge canyon or walking on the skywalk like you're floating above the world. There is so much to explore and discover, and it's waiting for you to come and be amazed. We'll see you there.